Welcome once again to Tool Time. I'm your host, Tim, the Tool Man Taylor, and y'all know my assistant, Al. Catch of the day, boy. <laughs> it's Male Hobby Week, all this week on Tool Time. Today, Al and I are doing our Tool Time salute. Efficient. You know, hobbies are important to men because they allow us to wind down a little bit, you know? And I don't know, I can't speak for everybody, but I work awful hard all week long. You have another job somewhere, Tim? <laughs> Gosh darn it, that was funny, I really was. <laughs> Who's writing your material? An orthodontist? <laughs> Bite on that one, big one. <laughs> We're talking about fly fishing. In order to get a good information base on it, we've had a special guest. I want a warm tool time welcome for ace angler Chuck Norwood. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Well, you bought a nice selection of rocks here, boy. I'd love to see a worm try to wiggle off one of those big bad boys, huh? Well, well actually, Jim, uh, with fly fishing, there's no live bait involved. The, the fish are drawn to the fly. And, and under the heading of flies, you've got your two basic types. And the open and closed, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chuck was referring to the dry fly and the wet fly. Yeah, this is a joke, you know. The uh, dry fly floats on top of the water, whereas your wet flies kept you out of every major restaurant in the Detroit area. <laughs> How about a little demonstration? Yeah, um, this uh, first one, Tim, is a, is a real classic. Handmade and blue. Well, that's a good-looking rod. Yeah. The prices for that uh, start at about... Um, $600. Now it's 16 there. You got two of them. <laughs> now, we have an uh, insurance policy for these little accidents. Actually, Tim, our insurance uh, canceled after fourth show. Well, glue it. What do we got now? Uh, well, this next one's my personal favorite. Right. This is a Morgan BXL graphite. Not even you can break that, Tim. Don't bet on it. <laughs> well, that's a beauty. Look at that thing. I bet you get a big old stinky bass on this thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, Al, open up. <laughs> you want to be uh, careful using a graphite rod in a lightning storm because it is an excellent conductor of electricity. Well, yeah, we've been known to have a lot of big electro storms right here in the studio. Well, I'm just saying that if they happen to be in an area that is susceptible to it. <laughs> 